Welcome back guys, this video is going to be a beginner's guide to Microsoft's Xbox Cloud Game Streaming Service called xCloud. I'll be testing it on my ROG Ally which is a Windows based handheld PC. I'll simply use Xbox PC app to run xCloud games. For the inverse, xCloud is Microsoft's Cloud Game Streaming Service that runs Xbox Series S versions of the game on their servers. These games are streamed to our device via the internet for a stable experience. It's recommended to use a 5 GHz band Wi-Fi channel or an Ethernet connection. I'll be using the latter, Airtel Extreme Fiber Broadband Connection, 100 megabits per second plan. It's not recommended to use a 2.4 GHz band Wi-Fi channel or a 4G mobile internet connection. They are prone to stuttering. This is the speed test result for my network. Got a download speed of around 97 megabits per second, ping value 4 milliseconds. Now you want the distance between your location and the cloud server to be as little as possible in order to keep the latency in check. Just yesterday, Microsoft officially launched the service in India by deploying two servers. Prior to these servers, I was using the Japan based server of xCloud which resulted in a ping value of around 140 milliseconds. But with the central India based server, the ping value dropped to around 40 milliseconds which resulted in a big drop in latency input delay. Now I'll cover Game Pass plans and their prices for India region. Prices vary from country to country. Good thing is, all of the new Game Pass plans include xCloud subscription, but the included games vary from plan to plan. First we have the cheapest plan, Essential, priced at around Rs 4.99 per month for new subscribers. First month is priced at Rs 99. This plan includes 50 plus games on Xbox console and PC. Next plan, Premium priced at around Rs 699 per month. First 14 days are priced at Rs 99. Yet this plan includes over 200 games on Xbox console and PC. New Xbox published games join the library within 12 months of launch. Next we have the most expensive plan, Ultimate plan, priced at around Rs 1389 per month. It includes over 400 games on Xbox console and PC. New games on day 1 including new Xbox published games and third party games also includes EA Play and Ubisoft Plus Classics. This is the plan that I currently have. It also allows us to stream xCloud games at 1440p resolution but ROG LS display supports up to full HD resolution. So even after selecting 1440p resolution via Xbox stream settings, games were streamed at full HD resolution only. You don't need to own any game which is included with Game Pass subscription. Xcloud also allows us to stream some games that we own which are not included with Game Pass subscription. You can check the list of games via Xbox PC app. I'll cover this in the later part of the video. Just make sure Xbox PC app is installed on your PC. Open Microsoft Store. And there it is. Type Xbox PC. Simply Xbox. There's the app. Select it. Make sure it's installed. Open. Now click on the cloud icon here, cloud gaming, click on the settings cog. This will open xCloud stream settings. I have enabled the following settings, launch streaming games full screen, network quality indicator and stream statistics overlay. If you have an active membership of Game Pass Ultimate, you can stream xCloud games at 1440p max quality resolution. I have selected the option but on ROG Ally, games will be streamed at full HD resolution only. Estimated data consumption per hour is mentioned. It's 14 GB for 1440p resolution, 9 GB for full HD resolution, and 5 GB for 720p resolution. Accessibility settings optional, network optional, enable streaming over metered connection. Select the default cloud gaming service you'd like. Xcloud and GeForce now available. I have selected Ask Me for cloud gaming options every time. I do use GeForce now from time to time. Start stop using mouse in game by pressing F9 key. Yeah, some of the xCloud games support mouse and keyboard. Now I'll show you all of the games that are cloud playable. Just click on my library section. Click on cloud playable. 538 games are included. Insane. 400 plus games were advertised. Look at this list. It's amazing. Okay, I'll highlight the games that can be played using mouse and keyboard just click on filters here input check the setting console keyboard and mouse click on apply 
these are basically Xbox Series S version of the game C number of games 41 Call of Duty Black Ops 6 I'll be testing it we'll play it using mouse and keyboard okay now I'll show you the list of games included with different game pass subscriptions just click on game pass here now click on all games just click on filters click on subscriptions top run bar first we have game pass essential apply 68 games are included this is the complete list not a lot of games GTA 5 is not included with this subscription click on subscription again select game pass premium apply 345 games are included yeah this is the subscription that you want to use middle ground it's between game pass essential and ultimate last but not least game pass ultimate apply yeah 541 games are included with this subscription I'll kick things off with Wu Chang Fallen Feathers. This game has some performance issues on ROG Ally, exhibits traversal status. I'm using a 15 watts manual profile, all three power values set at 15 watts. Xcloud is not demanding on the hardware. The game is simply streamed to our device, does not run on it natively. APU power draw will be around 7 watts. CPU boost is disabled, resolution full HD. Connected my FlyDG Vader 4 Pro controller to Ally via Bluetooth mode. X input controller. Yeah, we can use our gamepad here. Wu Chang, there it is selected. Play with cloud with your subscription. Game should start. Syncing data. X Cloud saves are compatible with PC Game Pass version of the game. Performance overlay getting a ping value of around 37 milliseconds. FPS 60. Yeah, this game runs at 60 FPS on Series S. In order to access xCloud menu settings, just tap on the top left corner. This icon will pop up. Tap on it. See. Three dots. Feedback. Toggle full screen quick. Mic muted. We are in. Hide this menu icon. In-game settings. Graphics. Performance mode. Prioritize FPS. Targeting 60 FPS, lock FPS off, motion blur depth of field disabled, sharpening 7. I have enabled controller vibration from the in game settings. Yeah, it's working. Oh my god. Hi. <laughs> Alright, there's a character. Check out the real world input delay. Yeah, the controls are responsive. Ping value 36 to 38 milliseconds. FPS, it's close to 60. FPS can be a bit variable in this game. Combat app. Oh no, I pressed the X key, my bad. Should have pressed R1 key. And play it taking a long time. There you go. This game requires quick inputs. I was struggling a lot when I streamed this game using the Japan based server of xCloud. Not a problem now. Bitrate around 12 megabits per second. Resolution full HD. Image quality is looking sharp. LS display is small, extends 7 inches diagonally. So, image quality is not an issue even when the resolution is capped at full HD. Ultimate tier includes streaming at 1440p resolution. Packet loss nil, decode time 0.4 milliseconds. So, very good results produced in Wu Chang. Now, I'll test the next game. Exit Open Xbox menu setting 3 dots quit game Not every game runs at 60 FPS on Xbox Series S console For example Play Obscure Expedition 33 Play with Cloud subscription In this game I was struggling to parry my enemies attacks when I used the Japan based server of xCloud from India Due to the high ping This should not be a problem now with a ping value of 40 milliseconds, we'll see. Yeah, in game FPS 30. See, in game settings only have access to 
the following settings post processing effects disable all of them yeah we are in playing as lunar complete pack first up fps 30 stream resolution full hd and check out the real world input delay animation quality is looking so choppy once you get used to playing games at 60 fps it's very difficult to go back to 30 fps as you can see again packet loss nil combat time and let the thing attack me first will be executing parry here you go perfect counter I'll execute another parry that work latency is not a problem with a ping value of 37 milliseconds attack Lumia assault perfect timing again creature is down take out this thing emulation perfect timing again so very good result produced in clear obscure in terms of latency but not impressed with the performance 30 fps you'll get better performance in this game running it natively on raw gala now i'll test the next game now i'll run cricket 24 there it is play with cloud subscription don't need to install it pre-install on microsoft server army creates performance overlay give you an idea about the power draw in-game graphics settings can only change the theme and select India as I am from India load it my match India vs England I am batting India here you can see APU power draw 5 watts only it's just insane total power draw 12 watts time that shot got a double we will stop the ball ok I'll play an aggressive shot game is running at 60 fps it's very smooth image quality is looking sharp full HD resolution ping value 35 milliseconds 4 again the stream is very stable packet loss nil I'll play another aggressive shot Go for a six. See. Oh, missed. <laughs> now I'll test the next game. Okay, this time I'll use mouse and keyboard to play the game. I'll run Call of Duty Black Ops 6 campaign. Install. No. Play with cloud. Here you go. X cloud. Selected. Yeah, we are in. I'm using my mouse to look around using aim downsides check out the real world input delay yeah it's definitely manageable ping value 38 milliseconds using keyboard to move around take out this guy headshot game is running at 60 fps that's really good to see again good results produced my xcloud packet loss nil need to pick this lock press the f key my bad Let's see. That was another guy. Prone. You no, don't want to Let's alert these guys. The Not that shot again. Data consumption is around 10 megabits per second. Oh no, got detected. This is not good. Time to kill everyone. This guy is dead. I was just checking out the controls. Someone saw me. 